Hey everyone, Merix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Liv Morgan, Living Dead. I see what you did there, Scopely, Living Dead. Uh, Liv's the trial. Uh, this is the trial. I have strapped mine, and I have four movesets for you guys. This first one uh, is basically Infinity Build. Shout out to Gluis. He was talking in my server, and he's like, Hey, put a General's Orders plate on. And you can loop this forever. So it's a little bit slower, but you're not going to lose. Of course, General's Orders. Uh, don't go against the Trickster, though. Whenever you break three or more red gems, get three yellow MP. Um, and for this preview, I have Fury and then a 200% red move damage metal. Uh, I'm not going to use any other plate. I will talk about some other plates, though. Uh, so first move set. Sunset Rider, 8 MP red, 252k damage, choose a 5x5 area to make into botches. It's also a reversal, so if your opponent uh, makes multiply gems, then you're going to make um, 20 random multiply gems into leech gems. So all of their multiply gems are going to turn into leech gems for you. Massive strength, 505k, and then you steal the opponent's turn as well. Bite 3 MP, deal 297k damage, choose a 3 by one area to swap into red gems, and 10 paces in turn. I love the name of this one. 6 MP yellow, 244k damage, move the pin bar left by 11 notches. Entourage, we're using all the red move damage trainers, and yes, Gooker and Snooperon, who are both rare, but I'm not using takedown medals. Um, you could easily make up this 50% uh, by using takedown medals, takedown strap, that sort of thing. Otherwise, we're using Batista and then uh, Balor. So let's see what this looks like. We're going to go against uh, Ronda Rousey here on the trial tour because she's not a trickster and she's not going to dodge because uh, I had enough of dodge during the feud weekend. Oh my gosh, did I ever. So um, this is going to load the bite a lot faster than it would because of tour perks than it would in feud because it's 8 MP. Um... Although we would start with 2, 4, 5. It would be loaded the first time, and then it would take 3 uh, every time after that. So, throw your botch gems down. You can see we're doing 1.44 million and 1.22 million each time with the metal and trainers and all that jazz on there. And we're rolling the pin bar way back. So like I said, in Feud, this would take three. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and hit it the second time. Um, just because you get the idea and it doesn't need to take any longer. The um, the downside with this is the amount of clicks in the time, right? Um, so it's not one I would probably run ever. Uh, but it is very handy. And definitely is would win a lot. Just, like I said, don't use it against a trickster. Uh, I'm not going to roll the pin bar back, uh, since she's almost done for. And my cat Dexter, high dex. There you go. So, it takes a few clicks, right? Uh, it definitely takes a few clicks. Like I said, not one I would run, but it is a very cool moveset. Uh, moving along, we're going to get the double green out of the way. Um, I would not use this one probably personally, because uh, it's more set up and takes a little bit longer. However, uh, maybe you have Steel available and want to use him for some reason. I am surprised they were able to get the name Throat Cutter approved. That's surprising. Right into Oblivion, 10 MP finisher, 308k damage, plus 101k bonus damage for every botch. That gets huge. Throat Cutter, 7 MP green, uh, sub, 42 randos, 352k damage, 4 turns, remaining turn into botch. Spine Shatter Suplex, 180k damage, 1 gem to make into a 2 turn Juggy. Increase your red MP by 10, and then on the countdown you make 42 at the end. Random gems into botches. That's a lot of botches. So that's the uh, moveset. And here's your loadout. If you don't have Barret for any of these that have Barret, 
uh, you would use NXT Riddle for 50%. Barrett gives you 100%. Um, so boost there. And I believe Becky goes up to 60%, maybe 90%. I want to say 60, but it could be 90. Um, I should double check that. The new uh, Acro Becky. Actually, let's check that. Um, mine isn't leveled up yet uh, to 6 star. Uh, let's go to gem damage. I want to say 60%. That's worth knowing. If it's 90%, it's a lot more. Pretty sure that's too much though, so I'm gonna say it's 60% at the max. Ugh. Whatever. No one's got time for this. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, you do need Santa Hogan for the second feud, not the first feud. You uh, could also use uh, Shayna for 15% or um, Blue Blood. So put your Juggernaut gem down. That's going to fill your spoiler, your finisher up after the sub. And you know what? We're not going to wait around for the second tick. Um, unless for some reason she wipes all of her boss gems. Because who's got time for that? Maybe we will just for a big hit. Sure, why not? She's not in danger of loading her moves. Let's just get all the botches. Oh, it turns him green. I'm stupid. Nah. For some reason, I thought it made botches again. Uh, brain dead. So let's not do that. Anyway, that's why Becky adds greens, too. Not a fan of that moveset damage-wise, obviously. Maybe in a boss battle kind of thing. Put this down. How did I blank on that? Because I didn't wait to go to the second turn. That's why. I just hit it the first turn when I was playing it. I'm like, oh, for this one, I'll let it go to the second turn. I can't, uh... It helps if you read the movesets, right? Right? So anyway, that's gonna hit... Depending on how many gems you leave. Um, like, you know, 9-ish mil, whatever, with the finisher. ba da bum bum Alright. But... There's better at the end than that. So triple yellow, interesting. We're just going to forget about that. Well, I'm going to forget about it. It'll be on the internet forever. Awkward. Okay. If you haven't seen these two yellow moves, 7 and 6 MP respectively, face eraser. 217k damage, 44 randos into yellow. And back from the dead. You gotta be pinned. You kick out uh, 388k damage, 30 rando gems into leech gems, strength 126k. Um, yeah. You guys know how kickouts work, so we don't need to go any farther than that. You might be saying, Merrick's too many rare trainers for the leech gems here. I know. Uh, if you don't have theory, just use Bailey, right? And uh, you could just use uh, flat yellow here, which I think is. Uh, Oh, I don't know. Goldberg. Motu Goldberg, right? It's The leeches are just a little bit um, better on the leech gems because she's at uh, 14k. At 6-star silver, the percentages are going to be better than the flats because uh, there should be enough leech gems on the kickout to make up for it. I didn't do the math. That's just guessing. Honestly, at 6-star bronze, the flats are going to be better anyway, probably. Uh, but either way... Uh, this doesn't hit ridiculously hard, so uh, this is just to show you the moveset. It'll probably take two cycles to win, um, and when I say two cycles, I mean more than one turn. The nice thing is this moves at 11 and it moves it back uh, X3. So we actually get pinned even if they only make a three break. Now we're going to do our kick out. Oops. And then we're going to make the board yellow. And deal like 5, 6 million, 7 million damage, 8 million, I don't know, something like that. It's millions. Um, not going to scale... 7 million. Not going to scale well uh, into silver with this one. Uh, but it is fun. And I do like it. Because it's different. This is the moveset, I think, like, for everybody. This is the set. 
uh first feud if you 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 or also so you could use santa instead of balor um 17k santa and then where balor is put nxt riddle so you can do that too so maybe i'll run a couple different options here of what you could run um entourage after this first one because this is going fast um right so this could be shayna this could be becky Oh, or it could be Santa Hogan, and then you could swap Balor for NXT Riddle for 50%. Um, also, first feud, you know, they're not they're not going to be loaded. You're, you're going to be loaded with 3 MP, very likely. Uh, unless you're going against some big spenders. Uh, and you've seen all the moves, so let's just put them together. You've seen all these. There is another thing you can do as well, uh, which we'll get into as we're out here. If you want to, if you don't cascade and you're willing to risk it, you can get the botches down twice, I think. This way, we'll think about it. So, uh, Balor's going to start you out with 4 and 4 MP. Uh, so, you would technically need to hit this twice, unless there's a matchy match, to load this. So, I mean, it's not realistic unless you're going to give up a botch trainer to get more botches on the board, which is probably more damage to get this twice. So realistic is probably more like this. Um, so technically that would be one short in the second feud, and most of the time the first feud is in ladies feud. So realistically you'd probably have to hit it once more, unless there's a line bonus or something. And then you could pop this, and then you'd have to hit it three more times to fill it again. So realistically, you're not going to have this on the board twice with the maximum botch setup. You're just going to have it once. We can toy around with it because it will be more damage, I would assume, to have more on. Um, and then you're going to hit your finisher. Or 8 million damage. So what would make it realistic? A great question, Merrick. So I'm glad you asked. A few things. So it's 8 MP. Um, so if you want to load it with two clicks, uh, we could just put X Pac in for uh, what's his face there because he's not doing a heck of a lot. Blue Blood is only doing 15%. So let's put X Pac in. And that would fix our problems and we'd be able to load it in three clicks. It's much more impressive this way. Right, because we start out two, four, that or that still be short. I should have thought of all this through before I actually recorded, because you're gonna start with two with Balor, and that three would be five. You're still gonna be short on the first time, so you're gonna need four clicks total. So yeah, you can't. Or uh, you would need. Why did I use X Pac and not Santa Hogan? But Santa Hogan wouldn't be enough anyway. But not Santa. I mean, um, NWO five. So t NWO Hogan would be enough on the first feud, but not the second feud, or if you had a line bonus, we'll just pretend like that. Either way, it's going to be hard to load uh, in all situations. That's more what I'm trying to get at. So let's best case scenario, you'd have to be one trainer short, have some line bonuses. So this is what you'd be looking at damage wise. And the, you might be able to get 10% better with Becky. So this is like your top end, all time, what you're going to do. Uh, which was all of her life. So that's what... How many gems were we missing? Um, there you go. Let me count the gems so I can give you guys an exact estimate. Because it's important. You might not think it's very important. You're like, Merrick's, you're annihilating these guys. Why do you care? Because 6-star silver is very different, right? The health pools double, the gem damage doubles, and they kick out of everything. Um, so, let me give me two seconds here. We'll get back to that. This is a short preview anyway, because she's very straightforward. Okay. 
Pop, 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 pop. One more. There's 49 spots on the board. And also, that's a cascade risk, too, by the way. I personally wouldn't try and fill it because of the cascade risk in me. I would cascade all the time in feud. I know I would. So we're one, two, three, four, eight short of 49. So 41 gems. And they are 252k. That's like 10,000, right? And change. 252,000 times 41. Yeah, 10, 10, I said 10,000, it meant 10 million. 10.3 million plus a million on the finisher. So you're going to do 11 million. This is only going to scale about 7%. So it's not really going to get any bigger, right? Like now this isn't to say if you, if you have a few line bonus or something that you could get, get it loaded easier, but you're still going to need a matchy match um, coach at some point. And if it's the second feud or something, you can't put Riddle in there. So I think most of the time you can assume you're going to hit for like 12 to 13 million at silver trying to do it this way. With 25 gems, which is the safe way, uh, 200, you'd be able, you'd be have more gem damage though, 267. And then if you had Becky, it would be even more. So times 25 only. Is more like 6.6 .6 million, so you could probably get that number up to like nine or I think either way you're looking at honestly, you're looking at like 10 million or like 12 million at six star silver in most feud situations, um, and I think that's worth noting, right? Uh, she's insane at bronze, absolutely insane at bronze. I think she's fantastic, uh, but how at silver? So. I think if you have a Hitman plate, that's the plate you run with the red set. And then I think it's probably two cycles, two fast cycles. You're going to drain them when you put the botches out. I don't have a Hitman plate, so I can't show you. But it's basically make botch gems drain MP, right? So I think you use the Hitman plate, triple red, and you're safe. And that's like the feud setup. Um, I, I think you're going to struggle in feud most feuds to get the botches down twice i really do um you're gonna have to use matchy match trainers and then you might cascade and you know your starting board's gonna matter stuff like that um so overall what Liv has going for in my opinion is lady powerhouse is really weak and i do want to preface this by with what i like and my bias she is very fun to play but I don't particularly care for her. She's in probably one of the weakest classes, though, uh, for ladies. Um, I honestly think I prefer Raquel, personally. I don't expect a lot of you to agree. In fact, I think a lot of you will disagree, uh, but I prefer Raquel slightly. I think other than Raquel, though, she is certainly the best lady powerhouse. Um, I think for a small portion, and you know who you are, of really, really fast feuders, you you won't use her right you i know you won't um so some people she's gonna be kind of meh but it's a very very small portion of the game also if you're somebody that doesn't have a lot of super crazy nice stuff she's gonna be amazing for you so like if you don't maybe have a huge roster and you pull her um she's gonna help you out a lot because you can you can run the botch sets without needing a ton right um so overall i think she's a good addition for me personally I'm not really bothered on if I get her or not, other than as a CSS. Uh, the trainer, which I didn't talk about, is actually super niche, um, or niche, depending how you say it. Black gems do 30% more damage, and immobile gems do 60% more damage. So I, don't, I can't think of anyone right off that I would care about that on today, but I'm sure the next zombie will need this, just like um, Becky's training ability works on the not-so-good Juggernaut gem build. Um, that I was really dumb with in this preview. Anyway, uh, yeah, she's good. I don't think she's great, and but I do think she's a nice addition to Lady Powerhouses. It wouldn't break my heart if I pulled her from a bag. Not somebody I'm personally going to chase, and those are my reasons. I think at 6-star bronze and on the trial, she's going to look amazing and phenomenal. 
So I expect a lot of people to disagree with me on this preview. Um, and I can understand that and respect that. So if you really like her, don't don't be like, oh man, Merrick's, why are you dogging on, on, on my live? Um, it's just how I feel about it. Uh, personally, and I think it's a playstyle thing and trying to extrapolate people to six star silver. There's no gem damage built here, uh, and that bothers me. Uh, if there's ever a lady boss battle again, she's got versatility there because of leeches and botches, and she can make them green and she can do yellow. So there's uh, some decent stuff there. I don't particularly care for the infinity build that's going to kill anyone because it's too many clicks for me, too slow for me. Uh, I don't like that. So. Yeah, those are, that's my reasons overall. All that being said, I do think she's a great addition. Let me know what you think in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Oh, Dexter, what did you do?